I'm a poor kid with no powers at all. I'm so useless. I will never be a hero. <laughs> Let me give you my power. Each is part of my ass. And you shall get amazing abilities. Yes! It's time to get so tired. Fine. Okay, okay, okay. That's not how it happened, okay? Fine, okay? <laughs> it is still funny though. Hey guys, welcome to Quickies, the show where we take a topic, usually a theory, and we give you a quick little explanation of it. If you like the idea of such content, you can check out our video from last week which talks about the whole Tobi and Obito fiasco which happened in the Naruto-verse oh, quite a few years ago. And if you like anime content in general, then you should subscribe and click that bell icon because we put out new content almost every day and we can get to the topic on hand. We're talking about Boku no Hero Academia and we're talking about something that was revealed in the anime a couple of episodes ago. It seems like Deku is getting a power-up in the future. No wait, he already got a power-up but he's getting more of a power-up in the future. So basically he's stronger now but he's gonna get stronger later. Oh my god, this is gonna be a very funny episode because I'm going to confuse the hell out of you. So the reason we made this episode was because a few people seem to be really confused about how this is happening and uh, we had a few questions and theories about it as well and we decided to put our thoughts out, so to speak. So, let's talk about what's happening in the anime right now. You should know this by now, but SPOILER ALERT! You have been spoiler alerted now. You know that Deku's ability is called One For All. Let's go a little into the past, and we talk about One For All at its base. Now, All For One, the main villain of Boku, gave the power One For All to his brother, who was supposed to be really weak, and uh, who was supposed to be quirkless. And it turns out that All For One used to give works to people to help them and uh, would make them do his bidding right afterwards and once they were useless he would just eliminate them because well, why not right and he thought his brother was quirkless and gave him a quirk that could basically stockpile quirks on top of each other and his intent was to have his brother help him in his evil ambitions to take over the world but his brother had a quirk already and had a very strong sense of justice even though he was pretty weak and he decided to go against his own brother's wishes to take over the world and uh, thereby got imprisoned by him now all for one's brother Yoichi. The quirk he had is what makes One For All so unique. He basically had a quirk that could just be passed on to other people. No other powers on its own could just be passed. And uh, this turned out to be very useful because he got a stockpiling quirk, One For All, and he managed to pass it on to somebody else before he died in hopes that they would defeat All For One. <sighs> Did I say All For One and One For All too many times already? Is, is, it, is it getting confusing? Never mind, I don't want to know. Okay, okay, you're pretty confused. I don't know, maybe you are, maybe you're not. I got confused. But basically, one for all keeps adding quirks on top of it and uh, can enable the use to have multiple quirks. And this didn't stop with only Yoichi's quirk. And every successor who got one for all had their quirk imprinted onto the base quirk. Okay, maybe you're confused. Maybe you're not. I got confused. But basically, one for all can add on quirks on top of each other and pass it on, basically becoming stronger and stronger and bigger and bigger and... I don't know, it just has a lot of quirks, okay? But this didn't stop with only the first person. Every person who had one for all kept getting more and more quirks imprinted onto the base quirk. That means anyone who uses one for all should technically, technically be able to access all the past users' quirks and make it their own. But life's not that easy, is it? Well, for Deku it is. But life's not that easy, is it? Even All Might, the legendary All Might, the symbol of peace and hope could not unlock the quirks of his predecessors. But there might be a reason for that. And there might be a reason why Deku was able to do so. It seems to be that as more and more quirks get added on to One For All, it reaches a critical mass or tipping point where the other quirks start to come out on their own. And it seems like Deku was just there at the perfect time, at the perfect place, and he managed to get the powers and managed to unlock the first quirk, a quirk called Bl Black Whip. In fact, a lot of fans have a theory that Deku is going to literally lose an arm fighting somebody because, you know, he breaks his bones all the time. Eventually, he's going to lose an arm and he's going to make the Black Whip his new fake arm and 
live life normally with it. But that's just the first quirk and uh, we don't want to spoil anything for those who are only watching the anime. But they could us obviously duh, get more quirks later on because he has to unlock every one of them. And we're not going to tell you what those quirks are or what they do right now. But basically you can expect a lot of power ups for Deku and you can bet that the person who Deku passes on one for all is uh, going to be a lot lot stronger. Also, did we mention that the base quirk, one for all, amplifies the power of each quirk that is unlocked. So Deku's Black Whip is actually stronger than the original Black Whip. And because it keeps getting passed on, every movie unlocks is going to be much, much stronger. Well, we are in for quite a treat at the end of uh, Boku no Hero Academia. And I'm pretty sure Deku is going to uh, replace All Might as the symbol of hope. So will the student overcome the master? I have no idea. But that's it for this episode of Quickies. Like, share, follow, and we should be back next week to explain another theory.